In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a calibration created using the Cognex uh, UR cap in another job that doesn't use the Cognex UR cap. A reason for doing this is if you enjoy how the UR cap does the calibration, but it's not featured enough for what you need it to do. So here I've got the standard UR cap uh, template job open, and it's got the robot fixture uh, here. Now if I go over to spreadsheet, so let's use control shift V, it, it's a lot more involved here. There's a lot of clutter, but everything in, revolves around this calibration structure here. Now a calibration structure is a function that takes the uh, pixel coordinates uh, created by the camera when you take a picture and translates that to real world coordinates such that the robot uh, works in. And this particular function, the calibrate advanced, is set up to use the data here. So when the robot is, is uh, moving around and the camera's taking pictures, it's actually populating these rows here. So what you wanna do is take everything that's highlighted in gray so that's what the function uses. Let's copy that over into Excel. There we go there. The reason for doing this is that Excel extracts the raw data, the numbers here. Whereas if you do this in Cognex, it will extract the, the links and the links won't be valid in another file. So let's go and let's grab the Calibrate Advanced just for completeness. There we go. Now I'm ready to open up, open up a new job. New job. Now I can pull my information back in. Let's copy that, paste it. So all the calibration is there. Now I just bring over the Calibrate Advanced function and there we go. Obviously it references different cells, but you just change that to reference uh, this data here. So that's it. That's all. I hope you have found this video useful. If you have any other questions, check out our other videos or get in contact with us through our website. And be sure to follow us on LinkedIn to stay current with the latest products.